Hi guys and welcome to the next video of this entire series. In this particular video, we will be discussing what is mail exchange or MX record. In the last session, we discussed how DMARC works and how we can add DMARC records for the domains in Office 365. In this particular session, we will be discussing what is mail exchange record and how does it work. We will be discussing few scenarios where MX record is used, and then I will be showing you how you can publish MX record for your domains in Office 365. In nutshell, an MX record is a DNS record which indicates to what specific IP address the emails should be sent. In Office 365, MX record is used to receive emails from external domains. If you are not publishing your MX record, you will not be able to receive emails from external domain. However, the emails within your organization will still work. That means the users within your organization will be able to receive and send emails. Let's assume that we have an organization abc.com. This organization owns a domain that is abc.com and all the required DNS records are published within their public DNS except MX record. So in this scenario, the email flow within abc.com organization will work. That means all the users of abc.com organization will be able to send emails to each other. They will be able to receive emails internally as well. However, abc.com domain will not be able to receive emails from an external domain because abc.com organization hasn't published MX record for their domain. If an external organization will send email to abc.com domain users, that email will not be able to find a path to the recipient. Because when SMTP service will reach public DNS of abc.com domain, it will not find MX record and email will not be delivered to abc.com email server. To overcome this situation, abc.com domain will have to publish an MX record in their public DNS and all the external emails will be routed to their email servers. When we add a domain in Office 365, we publish few DNS records within our public DNS. For example, txt, mx, and cname records. It depends on our business requirement, where do we need our MX record to be pointed? That means we can point MX record either to Office 365 or we can point it to a different email server. If MX record is pointed to Office 365, in that scenario, if an external domain will send an email, that email will be delivered directly to Office 365. And that email will be filtered by Exchange Online Protection. However, this is not necessary to point MX record only on Office 365. For example, if you have your own email server which provides protection for your emails, you can point MX record to that particular email server. And when an external domain will send an email, that email will be delivered to the email server first. This email server will scan that email or will filter that email and then email will be forwarded to Office 365. And guess what? When this email will be delivered to Office 365 tenant, Exchange Online Protection will scan that email. One thing to note here is that we cannot disable Exchange Online Protection. Even if you are using a third-party email filtering server, when email will be redirected to Office 365, Exchange Online Protection will scan that email. And when all checks will pass, only then email will be delivered to the user's mailbox. MX record is also used for load balancing. Let's assume that we have an Office 365 tenant and we have two email servers which are responsible to filter the emails. We can publish multiple MX records for one domain so that we can route our emails to multiple email servers. So this way, the incoming emails will be equally distributed among all the email servers. 
if you have pointed MX record for your domain to a phase 365, in that case, you will be publishing only one MX record because Office 365 does not support multiple MX records. So now let's understand how we can enable MX record for our domains in Office 365. For this demo, I will be enabling MX record for Office 365 concepts.com domain. I have removed MX record manually from DNS provider. So that is the reason it shows red cross next to MX record. To add MX record, I will copy this value and I will switch to domain provider website. I will click on add to add a new DNS record. Type will be MX, host will be at, and the value will be the one that you copied from Office 365 portal. Priority will be zero because I will be publishing only one MX record. I do not have any other server or other email server where I'm going to point my MX record. So as of now, I have only one Office 365 tenant and I will be pointing MX record to my Office 365 tenant so that all of the external emails will be delivered directly to Office 365 tenant. If I have multiple email servers, in that case, I can create multiple MX records and with the help of priority, I can decide on which server I want to redirect all the emails so that I can maintain load balancing on the servers. So I will click Save. And once this DNS record is added, we will wait for one or two minutes. And after that, we will check if this particular DNS record has been published or not. To verify the changes, we can switch to command prompt and we will perform NS lookup query. NS lookup set q equal mx and then type the name of your domain which is office 365 concepts.com so here we can see the mx record has been updated office 365 concepts hyphen com dot mail dot protection dot outlook dot com now if i switch back to my Office 365 portal, and if I refresh these DNS records, it should say it is updated now, and it should reflect as a green tick. All right, so it is taking some time to load. Let's wait for a few seconds. All right, so here we can see now MX record says OK, so that means this particular record has been updated within the public DNS for my Office 365 domain. Now going forward, all of the emails will be redirected directly to Office 365. Any external domain who is going to send email to my users within this tenant, those emails will be delivered only on this Office 365 tenant and Exchange Online Protection will be scanning those emails. Now let's recap what we have discussed in this particular session. MX record is used to receive emails from external domains. With the help of MX record, we can control email flow. We can decide if we want to route emails to Office 365 or to a third party filtering server. By publishing multiple MX records, we can route emails to our email servers equally so that we can maintain load balancing on those email servers. You can have multiple MX records if you have multiple email servers, but if you are using only Office 365, we should publish only one MX record because Office 365 does not support multiple MX records. So in this particular session, we have discussed what is MX record and how does MX record work? And I have shown you how you can enable MX record for your Office 365 domains. So if you have learned something new from this particular session, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.